Have you ever heard of an artificial muscle? Have you ever seen one? Do you know what they look like or how they operate? Well, that's what I'm hoping to show now. What an artificial muscle is, what they're made of and how they work. Now, why we wish to make artificial muscles is imagine you, you lose your arm and you want to replace that arm. You, you really like using that arm. Well, we need to be able to replicate human muscles. That's what we're trying. So that, or if someone injures themselves, you can use this muscle to assist the healing process. Or if someone needs to do some work in a hazardous environment, like a, a radioactive environment, if we can replicate a human hand that they can then control wirelessly from a remote, safe location, they can do all the work in that hazardous environment without putting themselves in any danger. That's, that's what we hope to achieve. Now, this is a very basic version that will then go on to produce muscles that will be able to assist people in their bodies. Now, the muscles that we've produced require two very basic components. The first, simple party glue. The second one is a plastic mesh, a flexible plastic mesh. Now, the way that the muscles work is if you imagine a party balloon, you fill it with water, it'll try to expand like three-dimensionally in every direction it'll try to expand. But once you put this plastic mesh over the top of it, the mesh can't expand that way. So rather than expanding that way, all of the expansion is done like that. As you can see, my hands are getting closer together and it's causing a bit of pull. That's how these muscles work. So if you'll have a look at the muscles that we've got on the crane here, you can see the plastic mesh, and as we fill them with water, you can see the muscle expanding. That then pulls this string, that causes the crane to lift up. That's how these muscles assist the crane. Because it's very basic components, you can make all of this stuff at home. All you really need is a balloon, a bit of mesh, syringe and a bit of water. And there you go, you've got yourself an artificial muscle.